Before I begin talking about my current project, I need to give you some background. I have become increasingly interested in the life and work of Alexander Sryabin, a Russian composer and pianist who lived from 1872 to 1915. Early in his life, he was heavily influenced by the works of Frederick Chopin, but later he began to compose pieces that challenged traditional tonality. His interest in synesthesia also increased. Synesthesia is a perceptual phenomenon in which stimulation of one sensory pathway leads to involuntary experiences in a second. For example, hearing music prompts the experience of color. This is what Scriabin explored. You are listening to compositions by Scriabin now, and other works have been featured in this video. Ultimately, he assigned each musical key a color, colors he thought best evoked the character of compositions. The key of C is red, while the key of B is blue. So I have this ongoing thing for Scriabin, and it comes time for my annual production of decorative papers. I create a batch of decorative papers to use in binding projects over the winter. This year I'm making paste papers. During the summer I outfit my garage as a studio where I can get as messy as I want. I decided to really play with colors and use up the odds and ends of acrylic paint I had, even using those fluorescent oranges and pinks that had been loitering on the back shelf for quite some time. While making paste papers can be a very controlled process, I prefer a much freer approach, and that means I need to use waste sheets to corral my enthusiasm. To somewhat protect my table, I cut down a pile of brown grocery bags. While I was making paste papers, I was listening to a lot of Scriabin. After a session or two, I started to notice the accumulation of marks on the waste sheets. I liked them. Then, I noticed all the chatter that was occurring on the tape that was holding the paste papers down as they dried. I liked that too. And that's where all this surrealist stuff comes into play. In some way, the Scriabin music was influencing my process, the colors I chose, my gestures, even my mood. It was happening, but I was not actively thinking about it. Lots of happy accidents were occurring and I was embracing them. I was working quickly and juxtaposing colors like never before. The result was the discovery of beautiful marks, passages, and patterns on the waste sheets that were created without a mindful plan. That assortment of garbage constitutes the base for my new project. I've set up a few parameters and I'm actively exploring during the production of this video. My rules are relatively easy to follow.
If I choose to collage, I can only use materials from the paste paper sessions. No trimming of edges, that's where the good stuff is happening. I'm not looking at the musical scores of the pieces I'm translating. I don't want it to be that literal. And I'm limiting the use of recognizable musical references to lines and circles. I've chosen a few of my favorite Scriabin compositions to work with, and I'm matching those up with waste sheets that resonate. After that, I'm going in and adding or subtracting. To finish each work, I'm taking my guidance from the composer himself and making sure the color he designated for the work's key signature is well defined. The challenge now is to keep the rational at bay and maintain spontaneity. 